Hello, hello everyone, I am Raf and welcome to another video of my YouTube channel. So in this episode, I'm going to uh, teach you how to create websites in SiteGround, which is basically uh, a website, it's just like a space to host uh, anything like a blog, a website or whatever you want to uh, get hosted in, in, in SiteGround. So basically, all you need to do is just go to website here on the top section. And once you are there, um, just basically wait until it loads everything. And so to explain you how it works, uh, every uh, you know every like website here is like a mini C panel option so you, you can handle everything for these individual sites and if you wanna like you know having a new one you need to create a new website so uh, in order to you know bring anything new so um there are two options so uh, let's get it with the first one so let's create a new website and once you are here, uh, you will have these three options. Basically, the, the, the first one is uh, to purchase a new domain. So with them directly. So all you need to just, for example, I'm just gonna just put it something like this here, something random. And uh, it has to be .com, just search, just wait. And if it's available, you can add that. So this one is not available, sadly. <laughs> and, but no, no worries, so um, let's get back so here um all you need to do is if, if you want to uh, purchase a domain with them you just need to put your domain name here and then uh, add it to the card so basically i'm, a, I'm not going to explain that right now but uh i'm going to leave you some some videos in the description of the card so you will be more guidance on that and the second option will be an existing domain if you already have a domain purchase with them and the third option is going to be a temporary domain so um Let's, uh, I have a domain already created with them, so uh, let's let's select this one here. And uh, this is my domain created, so I'm just going to uh, click on continue. And here, uh, all you need to do is just um, have, you will have these two options here. If you wanna create a new website application uh, using the uh, automatic installer like in WordPress, or uh, if you wanna migrate a, a WordPress site or, or from another provider to SiteGround. So in my case, I, I don't like to use these automatic installers. It's a personal reason, so don't judge me <laughs> for that. It's just something like I like to have more control on everything. But if you're like looking for something quick or you don't have uh, you know much more experience like you know installing WordPress by yourself, um, like you know, manually, you, you can use this option. So in my case, I'm just going to um, click here on a skip and create a new empty site. And here, uh, they will offer you some extra services. If you want them, just add them. If you don't need them, just add them. I usually don't add this, so I just click on finish. And you need to wait until it creates the site. So um, basically, it takes no more than two minutes, so let's wait. Oh, there is some duck in the background. Come on, puppy. Uh, he won't let me finish. Also, the neighbor is doing something here. Okay, let's do it. Um, all right, so once you have uh, your website created with your existing domain, you will see um, something like this. So this means that your site is created and completed. Uh, this is empty. Remember that I created an empty site. So I'm going to do another video and, and both installing the manual WordPress and installing the automatic option. So uh, I'm going to be uploading those in, in the next few days. So basically here, uh, once I have my, my uh, site created, my website created, all I need to do is just uh, go to the site if I already have it, like, um, you know, point it here properly. So and I will display this interface, which is, this is good because it's, it's uh, letting me know that the website is working already. And if I want to, you know, manage the files and everything, I just need to go here where it says manage site and it will take me through the site tools, um, which is basically the, the, the C panel option to handle everything inside your site. Okay, basically this is it. So I'm gonna do another example, um, which is going to be how to create it with a free domain uh, provided by uh, SiteGround. So let's go back. And to do that, so all you need to do is just go here. Again on websites, and once you're here, just click on new website, and uh, it will see the same thing. So uh, you will if you want to purchase a new domain, if you, had ex if you have an existing domain with them or with an external um, provider. So I'm going to leave you also in the description when you have an external provider, uh, a domain register, I'm going to teach you how to um, point those domains to SiteGround and how to create a site like that. 
So um, basically here I'm going to use a temporary domain, which is a domain offered for free by, by SiteGround. So just click there to select that option. And this is automatic, you don't need to do anything else. And this is going to be my domain. And just click on continue. So it's going to be the same thing if you want to start a, a new installation of WordPress. If you want to make rates, in my case, I'm just going to skip and create an empty site. And then the same thing. Um, so in this case, uh, it's, it's going to offer me this uh, site scanner. I don't usually, uh, I don't do this. So hit on finish and just wait for a moment. So uh, it takes no more than two minutes. So let's wait. Same thing here. So go to website. It will take me through the landing page saying that my website is already created and I, I can do whatever I want. And here it's going to be the managed site options. So basically this is it. So either if you wanna uh, use a free domain, if you wanna purchase with them, if you, if you already have an existing domain, I will leave you in the description and in the cards, all you need to do to you, you know, set up everything correctly. Uh, it doesn't take too much time, no more than 10 minutes to have everything completed. And this is it. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share and comment. Uh, if you have questions and everything like, uh, I don't know, support questions. Um, if you need help make reading something, I can help you with that. Just, uh, yeah, contact me in the, in the comments. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.